In February, the Supreme Order of the Knights of Malta solemnly opened the cause for canonization of a former leader, the 78th Prince and Grand Master, Andrew Birdie. Birdie was the first Englishman elected Grand Master since 1258. His life, they say, was particularly marked by one thing. La carita. Charity was the principal characteristic of this life that presupposes always an intense prayer life. That means a connection to God. The search of the good beyond the immediate wanting. Bertie led the now 800-year-old Order of Malta to continue in their duty of helping the poor and the sick. Now those promoting his cause for canonization will have to show that he led an exemplary life of holiness. The goal is to collect all proof that have something to do with the servant of God, Andrew Bertie, the 78th Grand Master of the Knights of Malta. This research is in its first phase, which will presumably take about one year, and during which all material is gathered to create an overview of the spiritual life, the exercise of virtue, of the cardinal virtues, theological virtues and evangelical virtues of this servant of God. The result leads to the so-called positio super virtutibus, which is documented, discussed and analyzed. Cardinal Agostino Valini and the newly appointed patron of the Sovereign Military Order of Malta, Cardinal Raymond Burke, were present in the celebration in Rome's Basilica of St. John Lateran. This is only the second time that an event like this is opened with this kind of solemnity in the Basilica of St. John the Lateran, the Cathedral of Rome. The only other time this happened was the opening of the cause of Karol Wojtyla, Pope John Paul II. That's not a bad connection to have for a possible future saint.